this about yourself? I'm from a family of three. I'm the last born. I happen to be the only girl. <laughs> yeah. Um, about what else can I say about my background? Oh yeah. Oh, I'm from a background of Christian family. Very strict <laughs> Christians. Um, my dad. My dad is a retired head teacher. My mom is a teacher. Uh, what else can I say? I have two brothers. Yeah, basically that. My education. Uh, I went in high school. I went to St. Clair's Girls in El Bagon. After that, I proceeded to Strathmore University, where I took a diploma in business IT. Then I got interested in the business bit of it. I started doing CPAs. After my CPAs, now uh, currently I'm doing Bachelor of Commerce. Yeah. What are the current challenges you're facing? Uh, the company is, I'd say, an year old. We started our real operations late last year, but the real operations started in this January. Um, we've okay. What boosted Synod to come into reality is last year we entered in. Uh, business plan writing competition with Chase Bank, uh, that is Enablis ELO, and we happen to be the youngest entrepreneurs of the year, which is 2011. So with that we got support, and so we were able to put up our business. Uh, the main challenges have been, yeah, being young. <laughs> uh, most people, they tend to despise young people, because, uh, for instance, when we go to, to sell our products, especially the corporates, they'd want to see what have you been doing. They believe in the past records. And now, as you can see, we are new. We are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are trying to get out there to be known. So most people don't gain confidence in us. But the few people we've done for promotions, we've tended to convince them. Yeah. What prompted you to get into this line of business? Wow. Uh, what captured me in to go to, to that industry is since I was young, I loved ads a lot. I think I could sing to each and every ad. I could find myself, I see an ad and I'm like, wow, that's genius. Then there's another one, I'm like, uh uh, we didn't give much of the details. So, I saw, I'm interested because I thought I have ideas that people can use rather than TV or radio or billboards and still they get to, to be known out there in the market. Another challenge, uh, another thing that really drove me to, to do advertising is that uh, Kenyan market, I think we're still dragging behind. We are still doing the same same things as I was doing a second done. That's radio TV. The billboard came the other day and everyone is on the billboard. Then if I really look at the billboard, <laughs> I don't really think it's a good good way of advertising, although the Kenyan market so believes in it because I always use this example, like for instance, you're going to town from the airport that's on Mombasa Road, you tend to see a lot of billboards and by the time you're in town, you can't recall even any of the ad that you saw on the board. So that's where I felt I can come in and bring unique products where if you see my product or if you see an ad done in a different way, you'll hardly forget it. And I think at the end of the day, any marketer wants their product to go out there and increase sales. Yes. Yeah. How is the competition in this kind of business? Oh, it's stiff. 
it's tough cause already the established companies especially the corporates most of them outsource their works to ad agencies and as you can see us here we are like a middle we are, we are the middlemen between the corporates and ad agencies because ad agencies there's some who design there's some who choose which media you're going to use to advertise so that has been our challenge because most people believe in ad agencies and like most corporates they've even outsourced they've outsourced that that bit of advertising to a given maybe agency for the next like five years so even if you go there and sing to them and show them this catchy product and everything they still refer you there and then on going there of course it's a challenge because they're wondering who are you Okay, they okay they'll excite you and oh yeah this is a nice product but nobody gets back to you. Of course it's competition at the end of the day. Yeah. They need they want to dominate the field. What advice can you give to a startup? That's a very, very good question. I was to access one, a loan I was to access a bank. I was to access a loan from a bank actually last month. And I don't think right now I can advertise a young person, especially to go to a commercial bank and ask for a loan to start a business. For one, the interest rates are really high. That's one. Then I want to challenge the youths. I think the youth fund is there and the interest rate is quite considerable. Myself, I'm on the process of trying to access that because I think it's a really nice fund that will help most youths um, and I think this is something that most youths are not really aware about because uh, um, I spoke to somebody who took a 3 million loan from a commercial bank and whatever he was doing it to go invest in something and right now they're just running on losses because the interest rates are just so massive so at the end of the day you find you've not even implemented the exact thing that you want to do the loan so to me i'll say and i also encourage savings you can save you know uh if it's a project you're running like for less than ten thousand or five thousand it's good to save also talk to your parents talk to friends they'll always support you i believe so uh and also, I think the youth find is the best right now to access a loan. What are the challenges you faced? First of all, I would say the experience bit of it, you know. Like, for me, I've never been to a corporate world. I've never worked. So, I think... I move a bit, I find myself doing things theoretically, <laughs> but when I go on the ground, that's not it, that's not what, what is happening or what should be done. Uh, but I thank God, I have an elder brother who works in, a corp in the corporate world and he's been of guidance. I remember at first I could take a proposal, then in the evening he's like, that's not how you do things. You do this and that. Uh, but I thank God my other business partner is now on the corporate world. From there I get guidance on what to do. That was our challenge because I think we were a bit more theoretical than practical. Yes. How do you manage books and work? Nice question. Okay, I'm doing part time. I do my classes in the evening. Um, I try really to balance. I can say it, it calls for a lot of sacrifice. Any single time moment you have, you utilize it to the fullest. But what I can say, especially for my school works over the weekends, I really give much time to my school work. Because <laughs> like during the day, maybe I'm running around. So in the evening, I go to class, I'm tired assignments to be done so to me the weekends are really precious that's when I really start. What is the best advice you've ever received? 
Uh, what I'll say is love what you do. Everyone is unique. Uh, most people have very brilliant ideas in them, but it's until you let it out that it can be seen and that you can stand out from the rest. So if we ever thought of doing something, even making a glass like this, go ahead and do it. You never know. It could be something unique, something that has never been seen. And there's also something my dad always tells me, we are all unique. We were born with our own with our own different and unique talents. So don't get scared. Go out there and try out whatever comes in your mind. That's yours and that's you. That's what defines you. Yeah. How is Anne Kamau outside work? Okay, I love, I love hanging out with friends. I try to balance because, you know, friends and family, the people who are crucial and important in one's life. With that, I find a way of unwinding. I love movies. Uh, what else do I love? Relaxing. Making myself beautiful. <laughs> I love the salon a lot, a lot, a lot. Yeah, basically that's me. Yeah. <laughs>